We now have two MPC members who have voted for a cut. This is what we expected, that David Ramsden would join Swati Dingra. This is the part that is important here because it shows an MPC where more movement is going towards a cut. You also have inflation. They see it at 1.9% in the second quarter of 2026. We've been pricing the BOE a lot like the Fed. We've been pricing a BOE who moves after July, who perhaps moves in August. Perhaps we need to rethink that now. The guidance from the Bank of England, risk from inflation, persistence, are receding from Governor Bailey. Optimistic things are moving in the right direction. Guess where sterling is? Sterling off the back of this, weaker. The pound down to about 124.58 and negative a third of 1%. Out of the UK, in London, Bloomberg's Lizzie Burden breaking this decision down. Morning, Lizzie. Good morning, John. Yeah, it's a dovish hold, this one. As expected, holding at five and a quarter percent. Only one percent in markets saw a chance of a cut today. But as I say, the signal's dovish. Uh, look at that vote split. 7-2. Dave Ramsden joining Swati Dingra. He had made a speech that suggested he'd had a dovish tilt. Uh, and so there was speculation that he would join. If you look back through history, uh, in November 2021, he voted to hike before the majority followed in December and then in both February and September 2022 he voted for larger hikes and then the rest subsequently followed so the market will take this as a dovish signal perhaps you've seen uh, the response in sterling there